Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all how I edit my videos, how I film my videos and how I make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. So let's get on with the video. So I'm going to be showing you all that on this phone but I don't use this. I use the phone that I'm filming on to actually do everything on but I'll just show you on this phone since I'm obviously filming on this other phone so I can't show it on the phone that I actually use. So I just use the iPhone camera to actually film my videos on and I always make sure that it is in 4K60. You do this by going to your settings and scrolling all the way down to camera and then once you're on camera you click record video and it'll show you here and I always have it on the last one which is 6k, 6k, I freaking wish it was 6k, which is 4k at 60fps, which is high resolution and it's a smooth light camera. That's what it says on here. It's just a high resolution so it'll make your quality of your videos way better. And for the rest of the equipment, I only use a ring light. If it's not daytime, I will use my ring light. Um, other than that, my other videos, I literally just use natural daylight and I'll stick my camera on my windowsill. I just film my videos with natural daylight normally. So as it goes for editing softwares, I use an app called Villo, which is the middle app here. V-L-L-O. You can get it on the App Store, Android Store. And it comes up like this. Well, actually, this is not the updated version. It's updated on the phone that I'm filming on, not this one. But you click create video and it'll come up. You pick one of these videos you want to edit. So here's my recent one. I've just clicked it and then you clicked, click next. And it'll actually come up with different on the updated version because this is, like I said, it's not the updated version, but it'll be YouTube and then it'll be a thing down here and always uh, default and put it on there itself. So that's good. And then you click next and there's your video. So if I want to crop something out, I'll stop it here, click the video and move it along to where I want to crop the video out then you click split and then delete and you can delete that section and that is literally how I film my videos sometimes if you want the um, volume to be higher I'll click on it and then it'll come up with audio and you can move it this button here you move it along and it'll make it louder there we are. That you want to be productive. And that's how you want it. You click done and it'll keep like that. Even if you start to split it. Yeah, so do that literally before you start splitting the segments out. Because otherwise you'll have to continuously do it. So do it like that. And then... For the intro... I used um, an app. Well, it's not an app. You can just go online. You type in canva.com. Canva.com like this i'm so sorry i don't know how to add um videos into like on top of another video i think you can do it on imovie i'm not sure i've never done it so i'm just doing it this way so i go on canva.com and it's the top one here which is canva official site and we've got it sometimes you have to make an account i think i'm not sure or you can just do it Hopefully you can just do it. No, you have to log in. It is free to do this, so I'll just log in right now. Do you know what? I'm going to do it on my iPad instead. So it's bigger and easier to show. It has a sticker on the back, so just ignore that. Okay, so now I'm on this on my iPad. I'll do the same. Create a blank YouTube thumbnail. And it'll come up like this. So you choose whatever you want. Well, actually, to get the anim... Well, you do choose whatever you want. To get the animations, you go to Elements, which is on the side here. It's called Elements. Click that and it'll come up, which it'll come up as stickers. So you'll want to scroll down and it says stickers, click on stickers, see all. And you can type in whatever sticker you want. So I clicked in um, sparkles and it'll come up with some, you can actually do it for free. What you do to do that, go background colour, pick any background you want to do, just type in whatever you want and it'll come up. So I'm literally just going to use what I normally use just this so now I can zoom into this actually on the side and show you what it looks like so it looks like that make them bigger smaller whatever you want to do with them 
then I'll literally just add in my name by going on a text which is on the corner here I just randomly picked one of these and it was the one that says fun right, so once it's moved around I will zoom back in so then after that I will duplicate the slide so it's the second one here and now it's duplicated and at the top it has this button which is a play button and you can run it through and this is all that it looks like it's not even playing and then to get the music after you've downloaded this you just click up here and it downloads um i went on youtube and i screen recorded uncopyrighted music off youtube and went on imovie and then i imported just the audio so i'll show you how you do that and you click the top button here which is a plus sign videos and when you find one that you want to use click it click the three dots that come up and it'll say the last one audio only and it goes on you can crop it to size and then save it which is the audio so that is how i do my intros and the same for the outros um as goes for the thumbnails so what i'll do for my thumbnail is go back on my phone and i'll show you on my phone i use the app fonto which is this one here um i will take the picture off on snapchat i know i know bit risky but i do i always put it landscape like this take the picture and then i'll import it into this which what you do you click the camera icon then photo albums and click whatever picture you want so let me find one see i want it to be slow sorry about that so this picture done and then i'll get pngs off of the internet so say i wanted a png of snapchat logo i'll type in snapchat png and here we go there's one hold it down but normally i'll hold it down it also save to photos but so i'm so sorry this is like a slow video but this crap ain't working for some reason normally you can just save it hold it down and it'll just save normally i don't know what's going on oh yeah i've saved the image so then after i've done that i will go here and then add image you see the snapchat one you just put done and it'll come on like this what you want to do is click it and it'll say blend are you dumb it doesn't even say blend on here it's because this phone is not updated but you'll click blend and you click darken and it will um you know um it'll go turn into a png so it doesn't look like that i really don't understand what this phone's doing yeah but it will, it'll look like that anyways um then it'll go on like this and then you click on it if you want to add text like just click anywhere and i'll say add text and you add your text so i'll just put my username click whatever font you want and to make it size you click size and you go up, 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 up. and then you can move it along wherever you want it and that would be the thumbnail to save it you just click this and then you click save to wherever you want to save it and it will be saved and you also need youtube studios if you want to add in thumbnails and things like that so oh and also to get like the little end section where it says thank you for watching then my icon thing pops up and a new video pops up you have to use a laptop or otherwise i don't think it works oh no it does it works on any device but you have to go on safari so we'll go on here you want to type in youtube studios and it is the first link that comes up this video is kind of a mess i'm so sorry about that but the best i can do for now so anyways you go on to the second little icon which is down here on this side it'll show you all your videos like that so i'm just going to click on this one which is private because it's just easier to do okay so once you clicked it you click this little pencil icon and you come to the side and here you can see it is end end screen you click that and it'll ask you which you want so what I normally choose is the first one, which is here. So my channel icon will come up and my next video will. 
or you can get one with two videos, no icon or video each side of your icon. But I normally use this one and it'll come up and then I'll put them to size. It has to be five seconds long, otherwise it won't go on. Then you just click save and when you rewatch that video, they'll be on now. But uh, you know what I mean, you know, I've... Uh, you, uh, you see it on my other videos, so that's how I also do that. So this is what I mean. See how they pop up at the end? That is literally how I do it. And yeah, that is basically me showing you how I edit my videos and things. So obviously if you're a new YouTuber who's just starting out, obviously you don't want to like get a new camera or nothing in case your channel doesn't blow up, but hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully your channel does blow up. Like mine hasn't blow, blew up yet, but um, I thought I would just do this video to show you. Um, so if you're a beginner, obviously just use your phone. That is actually one tip. You don't need a camera to start YouTube. So just use your phone and yeah, that's the end of the video. So I hope this video helped you all and that's the end of the video. So if you like the video, then like the video and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!